I've never done the bingo weekly challenge because my computer is funky and old and can't really handle 1.8, especially with all the command blocks in Brian Lurk on 111 bingo game. But here I am giving it my best shot. I've edited it a lot because I get lost. There's a lot of lag. I'm vision impaired. The more items I find, the more lag there is because command blocks are pushing around the huge giant map of all the items that he's got over spawn right over my head where I am now. He has a secret cheaty chest and I've preloaded it with really good armor. I didn't even show you the enchants and stuff because I am so scared doing this because he's gonna see it, probably Van's gonna see it, and Burgasms and Kurt J. Mack and all kinds of people that I'm scared of and intimidated by and impressed with and respect a lot. See, I can't even get the overhead shot. This is supposed to give you kind of like a cheaty idea of what their miniature biomes. So you know where, where your biomes are, so you know which way to head when you land. Didn't work. I'm drinking a Coke while I do this, excuse me. Well, my throat's really dry. So I've got my cheaty chest with all my enchantments and stuff. You can pause the video to probably see what they are. I didn't give myself too many enchants, but like I've got an infinity bow, stuff like that. I'm really freaked out fishing pole because I can't see and that's a big handicap because it means I fall it also because of the lag I you see it's like a slideshow and like I said the more items I get and the more Brian's um, command blocks and tricky redstone and stuff kick in the weirder this is gonna get so I'm presenting this to you so because you are my viewers not to try to impress all those people I just mentioned because you are my viewers and a lot of you came to my channel because you're low income or your kids or your people with disabilities or your elders and you have disabilities too and handicaps also and need to know how to do this first of all do it a lot so you get practice that's what i plan to do this is the first time i've ever really been serious about it and i'm so scared and i'm not thinking well like who hits a squid over deep water? You know what I'm saying? Because I have to go down and collect the loot. I don't have any torches on me, right? Because I've got my gamma set up high, so everything's nice and bright. So I almost drowned just getting the ink sack. Now, I don't know if I need the ink sack. I'm so scared and having such a... Uh, it's like the precursor to a PTSD episode. The anxiety and the nervousness are so bad that my memory is so bad that I can't tell you what's on the bingo card even right after looking at it. It doesn't mean I'm stupid. I can't remember. In fact, I can't even see it when I'm looking at it. Now, I had a good idea. You cut down about three trees, you're likely to get a uh, apple. And I did get my apple. In case I stumble across a bunch of gold, you can make a golden apple. I do know that's on there. I'm also trying to get a lot of sand, which later, after I make my glass bottles, I want to throw out the extra sand, which is dumb because I was chasing creepers trying to get... Oh dynamite you know trying to get gunpowder to make dynamite i thought those were reeds it's tall grass my bad i was looking for sugar i don't even remember why um so yeah i threw out my sand later and i feel kind of silly about that the other thing is see when i play regular um minecraft it's very seldom that i have these tricksy tools so uh the fact that the shovel and the pickaxe and stuff work really fast it was almost like being a creative it punches so fast i'm not used to that so i'm going to make some mistakes on account of that i know to collect iron everywhere i know there's a cauldron i think there's mine what it rails yeah whatever you know what i mean track i know there's usually a bone i don't remember if this card has a bone but i know that there usually is one so i'm whacking the skeleton sorry it's so slurpy I'm not using torches because I have my gamma set up high, which means I'm going to encounter more mobs. But I have really tricked out armor, so I'm not feeling too worried about that. But every place I see um, Iron Man, I'm just scooping it up. I'm not thinking clearly. All I'm thinking is, what if Kurt J. Max sees this? Brian's going to think this is so stupid. He didn't even watch the last challenge he did. I made him a video of it, and it took me so long to do it. It took like 30 minutes for a 10-minute challenge or something. I was so humiliated, and he didn't even watch the video. I was mortified. I don't blame him. It was like a 10-part video. Because, <laughs> you know, I could, at that point, I could only upload, what, 15 minutes? And Bandy Cam only records 10, and, oh, jeez. I'm a big one for going to the dead ends and give them a chance to see if they go anywhere. This one did. 
I'm also a big one for following bait ore, which is what I call these things like iron and um, coal, because if you follow them, they quite often lead to something that you wouldn't have seen. And here it is. I almost fell in another ravine. That's my second ravine today. I just put up a video where I almost fell in the ravine. Hello. But I'm at the narrow end, so I know I can jump across. So, uh, yeah, when you have disabilities, use a texture pack where you can see. You see, I've redesigned my crosshair. If you'd like, I'll make a tutorial on how to redesign the crosshair so you can see better. It doesn't really obscure mobs if you, like, right in the crotch of that crosshair. If you put your little heads right in the crotch of that crosshair, you'll probably hit them just about every time, even from a pretty, pretty fur distance. Uh, you have to uh, compensate for the incline of the arrow. It's going to arc up. So you have to aim up higher than the head, and it gets higher and higher uh, the farther away the entity is. But that crosshair works pretty well. Uh, let's see, and I did not know there was an abandoned mine shaft down here. I don't have the volume on while I'm recording this um, voiceover because it'll just make the video all garbled. But I do want you to know that I heard multiple mobs, particularly I think there might be a skeleton spawner down here. And I'm pretty sure there's a zombie spawner. And I did not pursue them because I was panicking, very self-conscious. This will get better the more I do it. I don't know why I'm obsessed with these spider webs. It's like I'm playing survival Minecraft where I always knock down everything in the mine shafts. You know how I clear it out so in case there's any ores and stuff hidden underneath those cross beams and stuff. I was kind of doing that. I didn't know if I needed a track, but I got it anyway. And sure enough, I did. I'm kind of looking for um, minecart chests, and of course, eternally looking for that stuff. Uh, again, I don't remember what I need. I know that these often obscure other passageways, gravel blocks do. So sure enough, I dug through the gravel with my super duper extra handy uh, shovel and opened up a bunch of extra passages. I'm looking for chests, and I'm looking for dungeons. I hear mobs, but I'm not sure. I think I... I don't know what happened to that poor skeleton. I don't know why I'm feeling sorry for the skeleton. Because I wanted the bone, you know? So I'm trying to find that. I, yes, I passed iron, but I'm trying to find that skeleton. And then I see the spawner. The cave spider spawner. And I'm so panic-stricken at this point, and my armor's pretty tricksy. I mean, it's got protection and projectile protection and blah, blah, blah on it. So I'm feeling pretty much like I can get there, and even if I get bit in the butt a couple of times by spiders, I don't think it's going to kill me, because I think the armor will take a lot of it. Wish I had a bucket of milk, but I haven't found a cow yet. Uh, let's see. So this is your basic taking out the spawner thing, because usually around cave spider spawners, in my experience, that's where you find uh, minecart chests with loot in them, you know? So I want a minecart chest, because then I'm almost to... Uh, a TNT cart. All I need is a few creepers. There's lots of sand available. Why not? You know? See, so yeah, I got whacked around a little bit, but I'm not too worried about it. So make sure you have a texture pack where you can see well and if you have a crappy computer so that you can move as quickly as you can with as much frame rate as you can because I got all twisted and turned around because it was like my mouse wasn't even attached to the game. It wasn't a problem with the mouse necessarily. It's the game couldn't hear my commands. See why I think there's a skeleton spawner? And there will be more too. Um, so to try to keep down the disorientation and the panic and the blindness, because see how herky-jerky it is? I'm playing a slideshow, you know? Uh, have a really good texture pack that you're comfortable with, that you've played with a lot, it's easy to see. I mean, you're not building the Eiffel Tower or the Louvre in France. What you're trying to do is finish the speed challenge. And it is a speed challenge, although I've given up on having any speed. I just want to, I would like to try sometimes get a blackout, but again, every time I get another item, the game gets laggier and the skeleton walked away. Mob AI is so weird these days. It's like they don't know, when you hit them, it's like you stun them. They don't walk toward you, they walk away from you. It's really creepy. Now I got greedy in here and I wanted to get those creepers because I wanted to get that TNT. And of course, instead, I got popped in the hiney. Darn it. I did get some TNT, but it wasn't enough. Now I thought this was only one spider and it's two. And look how close to the edge of that ravine I am. Oh my gosh, this is not my best work. But those of you who've been with my channel for a long time, 
Are you not impressed with the fact that I'm going right for the mobs and not hiding and I don't have, I, I don't even have a torch. I don't have any kind of security blanket, nothing. I'm just working as hard and as fast as I can. I couldn't remember if I'd gotten the bone or not. Uh, okay, another cutaway. And here I am, I had to go up my stairs kind of cockeyed because I went down two blocks, so I had to cut out one block each to hop up. And let's see, there's for my glass bottles. I cooked up too much glass. I should have left a lot of that sand so I could make the TNT cart, darn it. Yeah, oh, that's the problem with being afraid and not being able to see well and being so self-conscious. Again, I'm going to say it's going to get better the more I do this. So, Brian and the gang at the Reddit, the uh, Minecraft Bingo Reddit, please be patient with me. I think I'll get better. And hopefully someday I'll have a computer that can handle this stuff so that it won't be so laggy and embarrassing and so I can use OBS and so that I can use that um, video editing suite that's inside Blender so I can speed these videos up. Um, I edited this down an awful lot. I don't remember what my final time was, but the total length of the video was something like 37 minutes total because of all the derping around and fumbling in inventory and um, playing around at the spawn and goofing around with people's player heads and, you know, just general foolishness getting lost in my inventory several times getting turned around in the abandoned mine shaft and backtracking several times not being able to find my way up because i lost my bearings and so i edited out most of the boring stuff i think don't be afraid to try to do stuff go ahead and try it there's no such thing as failure really not really not in a situation like this and not when you have disabilities just the fact that you try to do things that seem impossible that counts for an awful lot not being intimidated and thinking oh well there's no point in trying because I'm not going to do very well you don't know I've seen some really good players do a really craptacular job on this map for some reason I thought I had a brick had to have a brick it's a memory thing you know the PTSD and the brain injuries it's a memory thing I looked right at the card and thought I had to have a brick <laughs> whatever and then I kept it in my inventory so it filled up a slot and kept me you know my inventory was all clogged up. So I'm going back to the abandoned mine shaft to see what I could see. I'm curious about things like gold and minecart chests and loot and whatever I come across. Uh, I'm not even looking to see whether I need this column or that row or this diagonal. I'm just grabbing stuff as I find it. I should have got that iron. Dude, why do I keep going past that iron? Don't know. So there's me. Uh loot chest and there's redstone which I don't realize I need and there's a saddle that I don't realize I need the redstone I'm going to need to make a compass let's see so I put down the crafting table and then I'm so self-conscious I end up taking it up because I think oh gosh I've got this I can't make the mine cart the TNT cart and I got all fumbled you know and I got all confused and I just kind of froze my inventory for a while froze at the map for a while and it was pretty brutal. Then I pick up the crafting table, even though I'll figure out in a few seconds that I will need it again. Still haven't thrown out those bricks. Or the signs. I don't need the signs either. I have this thing about not throwing out coal, so I'm feeling really weird because I threw out the coal. <laughs> Too many years of playing survival, man. When you're deep in an abandoned mine shaft, you don't throw out coal. Even though I haven't lit one torch the whole time I've been playing. You notice this? I like having the gamma up, but if I was playing real survival in just an old cheap crappity set of leather armor or something, I'd be so dead because mobs are all around me. You'll hear this with volume on because I'll turn it back up and mix it when I get it edited, but I'm not hearing it with volume. So I need soup in the saddle and then I'll have the diagonal. I don't know if I figured that out yet. I'm too busy being scared. You know, I really have a lot of respect for Brian. I'm not butt kissing. I'm, I swear I'm not. I really do. I love his exploration and tactics. I've learned a lot from him. Um, and he barely speaks to me. <laughs> Every once in a while he'll like a comment if I'm particularly clever, but he doesn't really speak to me. So I'm kind of scared of him a little bit. I don't know why I'm not scared of Burgasm. He hardly speaks to me either. 
but he does comment sometimes when I comment on Kirk's videos or something. Uh, you know, there's this guy, Wolfie McWolfington, that comments on Kirk's videos, and he just says Wilson, and everybody else makes comments, and I usually, whatever the tagline is, the funny thing that Kurt has edited out to the very last Easter egg in his thing, that's what I'll say in the comments. And sometimes Virg will see that I'm there and make some kind of comment to me. So this is as well, and then I go right over this and fall in the hole. I knew it was there, I just didn't sprint or something. I don't know. So I saw that there was a dark oak forest, and I knew there was mushrooms. I can't tell if mushrooms are falling or not. Even as I'm looking at the video, I can't see if mushrooms are falling. I know my inventory is full, I'm going to have to get rid of something so I can pick them up. And then no red mushrooms. Red flowers, no red mushrooms. But I did find a cow, so the irony, you know, Kurt ran around looking for a cow, trying to get a bucket of milk forever, and I'm looking around for a red mushroom. So I did get some milk. I'm glad I didn't have to kill anybody. Uh, well, I came with pre-cooked steaks. That's not true. I, I came with uh, replicator steaks, like, you know, on Star Trek. It, I got it in the creative inventory. So I didn't actually kill a cow, but I'm still still got a stack of meat. Just to show you how much more it's looking like a slideshow, the more I do this, I'm having a difficult time getting the dirt out, and I'm getting dizzy and disoriented trying to do it. Mm, let's see, what's next? Oh, next is the fishing pole. I'm going to get fluster painted, and I would love to go for a blackout. I, tr I keep trying. I've done it about three, four times, but it literally freezes my computer. I just can't do it. Sorry about the drinking coke thing, but I'm just a little old lady in an ugly little travel trailer, and I got thirsty, and there's cat hair on my microphone. Don't be scared. Try. Keep trying. Keep trying. Get practice. You know, I've played Minecraft Bingo now maybe three or four times. I've only recorded one of them. But I have decided not to wait for whether or not people decide to help me out with a computer or not. I'm going to try to record these. I'm embarrassed at the quality and I'm embarrassed at how badly I play. I'm also embarrassed that I forgot you can't spam fish anymore. <laughs> and that sheep's looking at me like I'm an idiot. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, you can't spam click on fishing anymore. And then I look over and I say, hmm, what's that red thing? And I get it down in the corner. That's like peripheral vision. See, I've got it in the top right-hand corner. Because you can't tell if it's a flower or a mushroom unless you do that. Something about the imagery. It always works. If you're looking at something from a distance or whatever. Don't look at it straight on. Look at it from the edge. I'm trying to sneak up on this mushroom without breaking my fishing line. With this cow dancing on me. Me and that cow are going to be buddies by the end of this line. So I'm sneaking up on my shroom. And then I turn around and the... I think when I go through the vine, yeah. I think that made the fishing line break. Darn it. But it's cool. It's cool. Nights have fallen. My armor's not too beat up. I could make it through another night if I wanted to. But I don't particularly want to. Because I'm going to get this video up and make a fool of myself in public. So see, I know a lot of tactics and I know how to do a lot of stuff, but the panic, man. And crappy equipment, too. Yeah. It is embarrassing. I get a lot of little kids who don't understand that poor people are poor. We need a better computer. Why don't you use Sony Vegas? Dude, I'm doing the best I can. So that's Minecraft Bingo. I got pretty close to a blackout, which is why it's so laggy. And Brian's a little genius. He really is. I mean, he was now he's collaborating with Seth Fling, you know. Seth Fling isn't as big a deal as Seth Fling think he is. No, that's not true. Seth is really very good. He does a lot of stuff I couldn't do, but he's a code cracker. I'm not. I, I don't know anything about computer programming. So, yeah, go to the Reddit, find out about Minecraft Bingo, please subscribe to Lorgon111's channel, Brian, because dude, if you want to learn this game, he's one of the guys you go to. Serious, straight up. Uh, here's where I try to get Kurt's head. This is my own map, so I can screw it up as much as I want, and I didn't know Kurt was an airhead. Ha ha! I always thought he was really smart. Ha ha! Never mind. Kurt, Kurt's a really smart guy. I like him a lot. Now I'm flying up above so you can see 
kind of the contraption that Brian made. It's activated by wolves and cats and stuff like that, and it's just huge and intimidating. And the more he tries to explain it, the confuser I get. But I'm definitely impressed. And up here's the map. Well, we're sneaking up on the map. And look at all that. Man, it spawns cooties too. So that's the map that you see. And see, there's the uh, color blocks around the ones that I got. Now, if I were playing with a team, everybody who gets a red one, it would be half red, and everybody who gets a blue one, it would be half blue, and stuff like that there. Please try this. Please try it a lot. You don't have to record it. You don't have to publish it. Just try it. Practice it. It's a lot of fun. Like, don't like, subscribe, comment, share it. Thanks. Bye.